It's interesting when you look at the issues of birth and death, you say, what is it that's alive right now? Because if you think I'm going to die, well, that means something is going to die. What is it that's going to die right now? And so my body has been changing. This is not the 16-year-old body or the 20-year-old body or the 30-year-old body or the 40 or 50 or 60-year-old body. It's all gone. Say it died. Well, and my thoughts, my memories, they just die like flies. You know, come in, gone, in no time at all. What dies? What dies? Well, something that was born has to die. And we see that all the time, that the body, all of its parts, our world, everything that is born just at some point fades away, changes. That dying is just morphing, just changing. What is it that does not change? That which is unborn is undying by, def by definition, by experience. So to notice all the things that are born and die, all the things that are born and die, all the things that are born and die, and just to keep looking and saying, what is it that does not bo is not born and die? Interesting koan, interesting question. And it's about a direct awareness of awareness. In uh, some aspects of Buddhism, they talk about the 12 link chain of co-conditioned origination. And that whole co-conditioned origination, which ends in birth, old age, and death, begins with ignorance. And that fundamental ignorance is thinking something exists, something out there, there's a separation. But awareness has no separation. 